Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you once again from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. A God who not only created us and loves us, but a God who gives us strength. A God who gives us his power. A God who helps us to carry on. Even when we're tired, he gives us the strength we need. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from Isaiah chapter 40, starting at verse 29. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. You know, as I read these words, I, I love that phrase, soar on the wings of like eagles. Uh, you know, I want to do that, don't you? We want to soar. We want to be uh, above and looking down and, and enjoying all the beauty that's around us. And, and as Christians, we get to do that. As Christians, we get to see God's hand of creation as he intended all around us. And, and that's what this is all about. Uh, you know, the ways of this world is all about chasing your tail. Uh, it's all about going as fast as you can. And it seems like only those who've made it to the top get a chance to rest. And even then, they're not really resting. Oftentimes, they're uh, blocked up within their money or their, 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 their fear or all the things that come with that type of a lifestyle. Uh, now, that, don't get me wrong. There are some that are, are certainly doing okay. and There's nothing wrong with having money. Uh, but the way of the world is to, you know, to work your tail off and to keep working and keep working, to keep getting and keep getting. And for what? For what purpose? Um, so we can have here. And yet when we serve God, we're building for an eternal destination. We're putting our value ahead of us so that when we get to heaven, uh, the crown of life will be before us. Um, and, and I think that's what this is all about. This, this is about when we follow God, he will give us rest. He will give us strength. He will help us not to grow weary and tired. Uh, we simply have to trust him. We simply have to, to do it his way. And, and I know that at times that's hard. At, at times it's it does seem like a struggle and maybe we feel weary. But when we put our sorrows into the Lord, when we read our Bible, when we pray, when we uh, do all the things that, that draw us closer to him, that gives us strength. And that helps us to carry on. That helps us to move forward. It helps us to, to carry out this life as he has intended. And the truth is, a lot of our weariness, a lot of our tiredness comes from trying to depend upon ourselves. Uh, too often, even as Christians who follow the Lord, we, we want to say, you know, I got this one, Lord, don't worry about it. And yet our whole life, our whole being should be about God's timing, God's perfect sense of, of when to do things and how to do it. Uh, God wants us to have rest. And, uh, you know, we today and, and probably all through the centuries, people want to discount having a day of Sabbath or Sabbath rest. But Why? God designed that for us. And, and I know that not all people can do that. It can choose Sunday as their, their Sabbath day because of work schedules and other things that go on in this world. Uh, but we need a time of rest. We need a time to stop doing what we're doing over here and focus on the Lord. Uh, and so again, I say all these things because when we do it God's way, then we can feel like we're soaring on the wings of eagles. Uh, and that's what I want today. That's what I want for me and that's what I want for you. Uh, Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this visual reminder uh, of what it means to truly serve you. Father, we can get weary and get tired of, of all the things around us if we're not careful. And so, Lord, we want to put ourselves into you uh, through our prayers with you, our Bible study, uh, all the things that we can do to stay close to you as you draw and as you draw us near to you. Father, give us your strength that we will run and not grow tired, that we will walk and not grow faint. Uh, just as we serve you, uh, may that bring much joy to our hearts and our lives. Father, we pray for those around us that as we try to serve you, that we would become less and you would become more and they would see your light shine through us, not for our glory, but for your glory. And we'll be careful to give you praise. Father, please bless those who need a special blessing today. So many dealing with uh, physical ailments, mental ailments, emotional ailments, even spiritual ailments. Touch each one according to your will and may that bring you glory. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do this beautiful day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, you have it. God loves you. Hey, we love you as well. Hope you have a wonderful day in the Lord. Hope you soar on the wings of eagles today, and we'll and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.